God, I'm a fat ass right now. And sadly, OG, I don't know how to help you because you seem to be the only one who has the buffering problem. Come on, phone, I'm trying to post shit. This donut sucks, just so you guys know. How's everyone doing tonight? I should be sewing in just a moment. I want to do one more thing. Okay. We'll get right into this shit. So. Okay, shit, I got here. Hold on, hold on. So last time, I think what happened is I need to turn that way. There we go. I got the key to the what the engineering room or whatever. I don't remember how to play this real quick. is the machine room. I got the key of the machine room, so... Oh, forgot. I gotta actually use keys. Okay. I'm gonna go into the machine room and see what happens here. Today I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Oh, Professor me. Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may, in fact, have inspired the Globus Cruciger, which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. 
As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbance. I didn't mean to skip that, but okay. Spare rod left in the storage for the elevator machinery. Make sure to, to only discard the ones which are badly damaged and keep the others in the inner study rooms in case all the three all three would crack again. Okay. Oh, so this is okay. of July, 1839. I've read every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Today, I got one which differed greatly from the others. From a baron in Prussia. He said nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know. I can I protect know. you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. What am I to make of this? Dude, I'm gonna be honest. Protect Everything I've heard about Alexander is just... Is someone after me? He's an asshole. I looked up Brennenburg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress and interest. As I write... My thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. A voice from the void. The last few weeks have been awful, with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate, in hope that he can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep. I see you're still sitting there. You can't hide. Go to bed. It's good for you. Uh, open says me. here? Fred? James? 
17th of July, 1839. How has this escaped me? They're all dead. Limbs scattered, heads split down the middle, their skin flayed as if boiled. I feel like I'm falling into myself. What's happening? Sir William Smith, Professor Taylor, now Dr. Tate. Is it following me? How can it not be? It's the damn thing I brought from Africa. Something is after me. I have no choice but to trust the Baron. He better know what he claims. If he is wrong, I suspect he'll regret it as well. So those cog reels are important, god damn it. You light up. Fucking do it. in there will it burn nope. okay. I'll keep looking 